Hello, everybody, and welcome to my final session of Banjo and Kazooie The Jiggies of Time. Let me set a timer. I'm actually going to head off to the train station in an hour. So, but, and then I'm going to be away for a while. So, I wanted to get this wrapped up before, before I'm going to be gone, so that I, when I come back, I can start with a new PC game. Probably Tunic. So the goal here is to get as many Jiggies as I can. I'm not going to be able to get all of them, because there are some that I just said, you know what, it's not worth the stress. Which means I won't be able to fight the final boss. I'm going to see, you know, if there's like a couple that I can pick up in this hour, so that I can say I did everything in the game that I could. And I'm going to be looking these up, um, since I obviously wasn't able to get them in my normal playthrough. Okay, so it looks like Gerudo Fortress, there's two to get. Castle Town, there's two to get. Um, Bronte Castle, I already know there's one that I don't want anything to do with. Same with Zora's Domain. And there's a couple in Long Long Park that I don't want to do. But I'm gonna start with I'm gonna start with these three secret ones. Let's see. Get those out of the way. The fastest way to get there to the first one is to go through the forest temple, because then you don't have to go through all the like maze and the lost woods and stuff. Okay. 
I was dumb and was pressing the wrong button. Now last time I did this, I got that, but I did not, right? Hop up here. It looks like there's actually, if we keep going this way, Just wanted to share something with a friend. So the other two are in Hyrule Field. Oh! Oh, you've got to be kidding. It's been a while since I played, right? So I pressed the I pressed the wrong button to jump. Actually, I have to actually make the journey. Oh. 
In a uh, Ocarina of Time, there's a pit there. Okay, then let's just go the wrong way. Oh, let's just go the wrong way. Now, I'm pretty sure I know where the jiggy is in this one. It's going to be underground. I saw a little underground spot when I was doing this one. I'm just not sure how to get down there. Let's see. I have to set through an ad. Oh my god, another ad is so obnoxious. Yep, yeah, you have to drop down one of the pins. I just don't know how do you know which one to drop down. Not that one. Well, that person's being tricky. Sorry, I'm just watching them get back to that pole. Okay, it's the one right before the feather. So I basically have to do the whole thing. That's fine. supposed to do it. Let's see. I bet if you do something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> 
Ooh, and now it's nighttime. I wonder if I go to um if I go to Zora River, will it still be nighttime or will it be daytime? It's in the, it's in the thing, one of those two. So I just have to get the ability to fly, but I think that's going to be right at the end, right? So I'm going to have to do this whole thing for it. Oh, no, there we go. What's the next closest thing? Uh... 
Hyrule Castle Town. we are missing here. Only two chickies. The question is from where? Time Castle Town. the Jinjo one. Not sure about the pots. Let's see. Got that one. The well. The one in the well. Got the one in the fence. Got the one from the Klungos. I don't think I got the one on top of the tower. just the pot one and the one at the top of the tower. So let's see where the pots are. There. 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 And there. Okay. Boy, I could really use some help. Oh, wait, here's a pot. Oh, 
Oh my god. I noted on this one last time. Or 
there on the tower. I don't know if it's boy or girl. Oh! Oh, I see. There's a little ledge that I was not seeing. Try again. You know, now that I know how to do it, now I'm gonna struggle to get back up there. Oh my god! that I didn't want to do a Kirito Fortress. Alright, here we go. <laughs> For a moment I thought I didn't have it. Alright! Okay, now I have to get back down! Oh, jeez! We're pretty high up here! Whoa! Oh! That's a path leading, like, off in a totally different direction. I wonder... Maybe that's where Northern Hyrule is. Oh my god. This, uh, this developer, really. Really thought of everything. Take that. Oh, could've gotten that feather. Alright, so I've gotten all the ones that I'm like, I can definitely get do this. Let's see, that puts me at how many jiggies total? out of 100, right? So. That's an A! That's my grade for the game. I got an A. We are right here. We could do Grunty's Castle. Let's see what the two are that I'm missing there. I know one. I was like, oh, I'm not doing that. Turbo freaking ads. Alright, let's see. 
that one. Yeah, I got that. That one, got that one. Got the one on the bookshelf. Got the one on the castle. Pretty sure I got the one under the bed. Got that one. Did not get that one. It's either that one or the one that I have to hit buttons for. Neither of those sound very fun. But I'll give it a shot. I've got 23 minutes left. Right now I've got an A minus. Let's see if I can get that up to an A. Got this one. Okay, so I have to hit the buttons. Oh, 
I have to get higher. Wrong hand, oh there's my butt talking. Let's blow this place and fly home. Yes. I'm just gonna check and see. Maybe maybe Grunty will be nice and let me in with uh, 90 jiggies. Nah, I'm gonna go in there and she's gonna be like, I believe I said you need all the jiggies. Try the park, the uh, Lon Lon Park again. Let's grab some feathers on the way out. Like, 
use the use that transfer space to like work to other places. That'd be nice. Oh, 
That might be my last Jiggy of the game. And there's some that I can attempt in Mon Mon Park, so I think I'll try to do that. The other one here is the, uh, whatchamacallit, the archery thing. I just don't want to bother with that. Let me just confirm. Yeah, that's what it is. Six minutes, maybe I can get one. Oh, I'm such a dummy, I need to fly over there. Oh. say that that's it. Let's, let's, I don't know, let's head home. Or I guess, I guess I should pop, save, and quit. There's, yeah, let's look at my total here. Oh, let's do a bit of reflection. Okay, so, 
Now that I'm done with the game, first of all, this game is great. Jiggies of Time, it's basically like Banjo Kazooie 3. Uh, totally satisfied, and I'm surprised it's not a full price game. Uh, oh, I'm not surprised because, you know, it's it's a ROM hack, it's not an official game, but it might as well have been an official game. That's if you had told me this was made by Rare, I would have believed you. Well, a, a member of Rare is a big fan of Zelda, anyway. Big love letter, both to Banjo-Kazooie and to Ocarina of Time, as well as many other games. Uh, wow. The person who put this together, thank you so much. This was a great journey. Even though you freaking... locked the final boss away for 100% Let's see, so here's my total. 890 notes. I believe it's out of 1,000. Uh, no, no, it's probably out of 900. Because Hyrule, Hyrule Field doesn't have any notes, that would make sense. But it does have chickies. So, probably 900 notes and 100 chickies. So, 890 notes, 92 chickies, 23 honeycombs, about 16 and a half hours. That was good. It was really good. This is a great platformer. I, I've already been recommending it to lots of people. I'm going to keep doing that. Very satisfied with my time here. I like Banjo Kazooie better, but I actually have to say this one's better than Banjo Tooie, I think. Uh, the music in Banjo Tooie is better, but, but Banjo Tooie, it's just. I mean, I like Banjo Tooie. But it's very convoluted. And messy. There's lots of stuff you have to do. Um. So let's see. What world was my favorite? Not Hyrule. I know which one's my favorite. Um. The Forest Temple. That one, not a surprise to me that I went 100% in it. 10 out of 10, one of the great 3D platformer levels, in my opinion, is Forest Temple. That one knocked it out of the park. Amazing experience. I was just saying something, because Forest Temple is my favorite Zelda dungeon. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's, it's great stuff. Great, great, great stuff. Um... Gerudo Fortress I wasn't crazy about. Castle Town was okay. I like the castle area. Not so much the town area. Kakariko I think is my number two. That one was really fun. Let's see. My number three spot is either Zora's Domain or Lake Helia. I think Zora's Domain had higher highs, but Zora's Domain also had some nasty lows. I mean, there's that one cheeky uh, Mario Super Mario Kart one that I'm not getting, but there was that nasty. Getting all the notes in this one was nasty. It's all sin. Oh god, that was torture. But it's like Helia, like... I mean, the lake was fine, I liked doing the water temple. It wasn't anything crazy about it, but it didn't have any bad parts, I thought, so... I guess one of those two would be three and four, and then five... Maybe Grunty Castle for number five. Gerudo Fortress for six.
I'm not sure what my bottom two would be. Either Cookery Forest or Death Mountain. I guess Cookery Forest is, oh, I lost count, seven or eight? Yeah, it would be eight. Death Mountain's nine, Hyrule is ten. I will, you know, there's no notes to collect, so it's just a place to traverse. But my thing with Kukri Forest and Hyrule is it feels a little, maybe a little too banjo kazooie y. Like the music, the music's catchy, but it feels too, uh, I don't know. Those two just felt kind of more low common denominator compared to some of the other places. And I don't care for Lundlund Park at all. That one wasn't my thing. So I might put that one last if it was a separate one. Because, you know, it is weird. They love Hyrule Field and Long Lawn Ranch together. And then Death Mountain. Uh, had some good highs. I like Goron City. And I like, um, I like that Samus area. Dodongo's Cavern was, well, uh, it was fun exploring it. I liked all the parts in this game where you could explore the dungeons. But this one, um, Dodongo's Cavern is my least favorite dungeon in Ocarina of Time. It's just really bland, so exploring it still was bland. And that just the visuals and Tap Mountain in general was just not for me. Whereas, you know, Kukri Forest, Felt lowest common denominator. Felt like they were going for the casual crowd on that one. Um, felt a little more like maybe it was the first one that was made. Kind of a proof of concept. Um, but the it looked nice. And uh, Death Mountain did not look nice. Let me tell you. Um, but that's pretty cool, where, like, the first level is not the worst, so you're not having the worst experience right off the bat, but one of the worst, so you've got all this stuff to look forward to, uh, especially with the combination of Forest Temple. That was swell. So, with that said, thank you, the developer made this, I appreciate it. One last look around. Appreciation, I liked playing this on my PC on RetroArch with the nice CRT filter and my Wii U Pro controller. Uh, it was it was a great experience. Definitely one of my highlights of 2022. All right. Well, those of you who watched my progress, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly enjoyed capturing all the memories. And, uh... I'll see you when I see you. My next game on PC is probably going to be Tunic. I'm not sure if I'm going to stream it or not. Uh, I may also do Link's Awakening on RetroArch, and I would stream that, I think. All right, well, have a wonderful day. Wish me luck on my travels. Thanks for watching. Take care.